Hi, today we're going to take the unboxing review light at Robot. Transforming vehicle, transforming your robot. These are not official, not licensed, not associated, not affiliated. Hasbro to cartoon. These are KO, bootleg, not off, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so forth and so on party type of transformers. Okay. This one, I don't really know who he kind of looks like forms with. I kind of want to say somewhat of Chrome Dome here. I mean, maybe if you repaint it, this one you could kind of get it to look somewhat like Chrome Dome here from the Powered Primes. Maybe it's an alternative version, like a non painted version of Cliff Jumper. Maybe. Maybe more of a Cybertronian. Version of Chris Jumper, the Shadow Grass slash, I don't know, for Cybertron, C's lineup, something along that lineup of Quiff Jumper, I want to say. So it's either Chrome Dome or Quiff Jumper. Yeah. It's not official, but you know, if we were to compare it to an official Transformer, yeah. Something along the lines of those two, I guess. Depends on. You know, oh, it's Shadow Grass. Oh, it's. Four for such one. Oh, it's the siege. Yeah, you just use your imagination. Anyway, so where did I pick this up at? Where did I buy it? At? The dollar store. One dollar at the dollar store. Well, you know, a little bit more than one dollar because you know, tax. You have to pay a sales tax. Anyway, but yeah, go check your dollar stores. This is where it's gonna be at. So how do they like do this? It's kind of like how SirToys.com is. There is no instructions with this, so. You kind of have to kind of figure it out, just be like, oh, this one slides here, that tabs there, that pads in there. So you're going to have to figure it out that way. No instructions come with these, no weapon accessories come with these, nothing. So uh, the price of quality on these ones are actually superb, excellent, pretty great. They are worth it well, maybe. Power of the Primes, I would say, for plastic quality. I don't know, I haven't had a chance to get a hold of the uh, Combine Wars. Power of the Primes, I have them, they're great. Uh, not Power of the Primes, I mean Titans Return. Titans Return is the great one. Power of the Primes should be Pile of the Garbage. Yeah, because those are the worst ones to come out in the lineup. Now, Transformer Siege, I don't know, I haven't really bought any. My store someone really had them in, so I'm kind of waiting to see when they show up on shelves where I live in my stores, you know. Hopefully, you know, the stores by where I live will have power, not power to price, Transformer Siege on the shelves. Hopefully, because why don't you like a month or two ago, they, yeah, kind of bare bones, empty. And I'm not just talking about, like, just Transformers. I'm talking about, like, Power Rangers, and Babe Ways. I mean, like, yeah, the shelves were, like, nothing on them, pretty much. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe I'll wait about a month or two, and hopefully closer to Easter or something, they'll start stocking them up on the shelves. So, yeah. Uh, getting back to, you know, Power of the Primes, Titan, Mishima did a really, really bad job on that series. I mean, Combined Wars, they did an excellent job. Titans Return, excellent job. Power of the Primes, or Power of the, I want to say the C word, that goes with, I can make your hands crap, except, it's not my hands that's crap, it. And it's not my hands, you know, it's a big steering power up. Yeah, that's power of the primes. <laughs> or power of the garbage, which is really power of the. Mm hmm, yeah, that type of thing, right? You know, power of the bathrooms, as I'm going to call it, or diarrhea, because that's garbage. What's garbage was power of the primes? Everything. Where do we start? Let's start with Mishima's thing. Like I said, Combined Wars and Titans Return, Mishima did an excellent job. 
part of parts is where they fail completely. The episodes were released like episode 1, episode 2, episode 5, episode 7, episode 3, episode 6, episode 4. It's going, like, wait, wait, wait a mother after a minute, hold the F on. What the F is going out here? Should it be episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth? Yeah. Because, you know, that's how you count. That's how you learn in school, right? You know, free becomes free, free become. Yeah, I'm getting tongue tied here. <clears throat> free comes before four, and, you know, five comes after four, you know, like that. Nope, I guess Michelle never went to school. They never learned how to count because they don't know how to put the number of episodes in order. And the time for the episodes, the running time was just, ah, uh, guards. Like, episode one would be like seven minutes long. Episode two would be like 15 minutes long. Episode three would be like a minute and a half long. Seriously, what the F? Like, why can't they have them all running at like the same running time? Like how, you know, Transformers, Armada, Aaron John. Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Wars in the Skies, the new Wars in the Skies, anime, um, Prime, Transformers Prime, Prime Beast Hunters, you know, kind of running all at the same exact time, where the one time would be like maybe 7 minutes long for every episode, or maybe 15 minutes or something. I could understand, you know, maybe the first episode running a little bit longer, and then the final episode of that series, one in law, it's like, Time's Return, maybe, you know, episode one be like 10 to 15 minutes, possibly 20 minutes, and whatever the last episode is, same thing, but like, leave every other episode, like, episode two, and so on and so forth, like, maybe seven minutes long, or a 10 minute long, you know, something like that would be excellent. They did not do that. Also, another big mistake that Machinima has done with Power of the Primes series is the toy line does not match up with Machinima's Power of the Primes. Why? The toys never appeared in Power of the Primes. Like, I think this one's Dreadwing. Where is Dreadwing? Oh, I don't know. Machinima? They don't know. Another thing, they never talk about the Prime Armor. What the F does the Prime Armor do? Why do they need Prime Armor? And they never talk about the parts. They're like, oh yeah, it's the 13 Primes. Yes, but if you let the Toy Lamp of Power of the Primes, they have Prime Armor, which is leftover parts that's just been slightly altered from Combiner Wars. They never talk about the Prime Fitters, which, you know, are pretty much Headmasters without the heads, big giant heads on the back. How they go in the primer, what they do in the primer, and they never talk about the decoy shells or the deployers or whatever they call them, which was for Transformers Victory, how they all fit in. Transformers, Michelle, my power deployers, what the F? No, really, silly, what the mother F? Yeah. The toys never appear in the show. Primer, never appear in the show. The deploy armor. That, you know, the p little primes are in, that, you know, you get the little ones, never appear in the show. Never show a prime actually in the little, like, you know, headmaster size, coming out of the humanoid deploy armor, going into the prime armor that is then attached to the transformer. So, never appear in the show. Never appear in the show. The little guys that are supposed to go in there, never appear in the show. Also, why else never appear in the show? Deploy armor, so... Where's the F is the Depoiler? Where the F is the Mini Prime Masters? Where the F is the Prime Armor? Where the F is the Transformers that have the Prime Armor? And they're saying that these are supposed to combine with each other and stuff. Yes, on paper they do, but in the show, they never even showed up to do it. Or when I did it, 